Hey guys, Tony Ash coming to you, not from Memphis, Tennessee this time, but from St. Augustine, Florida. We just moved here about three weeks ago um, in a rental condo right now while our house is being finished. Hopefully next month we're in it. Um, hey, I wanted to talk to you about headlights. As a bunch of you guys know, uh, my previous headlight, I had the uh, Karyakin uh, Phase 7, which was an awesome headlight, absolutely loved it. Did a lot of research. Uh, understood that there was really two major headlight manufacturers, the guys for Karyakin and the guys that do the Daymakers. Well, some friends of mine that own Daytona Cycle Audio, <clears throat> which now I'm only about 40 minutes away, um, I was talking with those guys, it's the folks who put my stereo system in as well, and they said, hey, you gotta check out our new headlight. It's, it's not a Daymaker, it's a knockoff version of the Daymaker, but it's actually brighter than the Harley version is. They're, they're located in Bruce Rossmeyer's Harley Destination, the big, massive superstore off of US1. <clears throat> anyway, I rode in there, and sure enough, this guy right here, I've, been, I've had it in now for about two weeks, I've got to test it at night. Definitely brighter than my uh, my Karyakin Bay 7, and certainly brighter than the Harley Davidson Daymaker. The thing I like the most about this headlight, $149, not $549 like uh, the Daymaker is, or $289 or $279 that the Karyakin Phase 7 is. So I've been testing this thing now for, like I said, a few weeks. Absolutely love it. I can tell you that with my Phase 7 when I lived in Tennessee on the dark roads, I noticed that uh, when there was no lighting, blacktop, tree-lined roads, I had to have my uh, Phase 7, Karyakin Phase 7 on high beams. So far, I haven't had to do this, and when I do flip it on high beams, it's illuminating you know, much further out than my previous light, which was the uh, Karyakin. So obviously the original stock light sucked, pardon my French, put the Karyakin Phase 7 in it, loved it. This guy right here, this new Daymaker knockoff is outstanding. It's, I, I think that it just has brighter diodes in it. So, um, so it's certainly brighter than the Harley Davidson version of the Daymaker. And the other thing I like too is, is that the Daymaker is glass and I hear stories about rock chip, rocks cracking the glass. This is a shatterproof um, <clears throat> polycarbonate, <coughs> excuse me, a polycarbonate lens that doesn't, uh, doesn't stain, doesn't uh, yellow. So anyway, the folks at Daytona Cycle Audio, um, the reason I I guess you could say, I almost say that I'm promoting them to some degree is because I like them. They're passionate about what they do. 149 bucks, <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. So if you want more information about this light, reach out to me like so many of you do. I'd be happy to answer your questions. So, hey, uh, ride safe, take care, and I'll come to you with something new as soon as I make some additions or changes.